Hey guys, Wayne here from H2 Tech Videos. Today I want to show you how to transfer your pictures and your contacts and all your other files from an old phone to your new Samsung Galaxy J7 Star. What you're going to want to do is use an app called Samsung Smart Switch. Uh, it is the best app for transferring files to a Samsung phone. Uh, so in the video, I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, we're transferring from a Samsung Galaxy J3 to the J7, and I'll include some specific tips if you have a phone that's not a Samsung that you're moving from. So I'll make sure to go over that uh, in the course of the video, so just stay tuned. So first thing you want to do on your J7 Star, you're going to go to your uh, Galaxy Apps folder. So uh, you either should have an Apps button right here, or you can just swipe up and you'll have a folder that says Samsung. Tap on that and go to your Galaxy Apps. This is the Galaxy App Store. It's just like the Play Store, but it's, it's Samsung's own app store. We're just gonna type in the search and hit the microphone and just say Smart Switch. And it will bring up uh, the Samsung Smart Switch mobile app. So we've already downloaded it, so we're just gonna hit this button, but right here it'll say Install for You. So tap on that we're going to open that app on the j7 star agree to the terms and then wait there now on your on your older phone you're going to go to the play store and hit the microphone again smart switch you can say smart switch or samsung smart switch usually it'll just come right up now Disclaimer, uh, I've seen this on a few phones where you search the app in the Play Store and it says that the app is not compatible with your device. If you get that error, uh, the workaround is in the description of this video, I have a link to a website where you can download the Smart Switch app directly to your phone. So you're gonna wanna click on that link and follow the instructions to download the app directly to your phone. So, um, yeah, and I also have a separate video on how to download the app as well. So I'll leave the link for uh, that uh, website as well as a link to a video on how to install it as well. But for those that it came up uh, easy, let's go ahead and just hit install and let it install onto your phone. And the install should be relatively quick. It's not really a large file. So uh, after that one downloads, we're gonna open it the same way we opened it on our uh, J7 Star here, accept the terms. Let's go ahead and hit start on this side. And then on the new phone, you're gonna to have to select, I'm receiving data. And on the older phone, we're gonna hit open. Agree. Start. And we're gonna hit send data. A disclaimer at the top here, there is a memory card button. So you can actually send information directly from your memory card right over to the phone as well. So just FYI, if all your stuff is on the memory card, not on the phone, you may want to click on the memory card option there. We're going to hit send data. And in this case, we're going to do it wirelessly. So the phones are going to link up together. So tap wireless for both. And I'm gonna tap, oh, so it's gonna send a signal initially and it's gonna try to catch it on its own. So uh, since these are two Samsung phones, it did just catch it automatically so we didn't have to do any extra work, but you guys may have seen right here, it does ask you to select the uh, old device that you're transferring from. So for example, there's an option if you're transferring from an iPhone, there's an option if it's from a non-Samsung phone. So if it, makes that noise and it doesn't link up automatically like this did, then follow the prompts on the screen for that. So on this side, you can see uh, it'll take your call log, uh, your apps, your settings, your home screen. So if you have a special wallpaper on your phone, it'll take that. Any uh, pictures you have downloaded, videos and audio files as well. And then um, if you have a memory card, you can also have it pull the memory card files as well and transfer those too. So we're gonna hit send gonna say receive hit receive at this point you're gonna let it run its course and it'll it'll show you basically how long it's gonna take so estimate about nine minutes for the transfer but obviously it's going faster um, and then just watch it count down don't touch the phones just let them stay close to each other and let them transfer and 
it'll let you know when it's done. What will happen sometimes is uh, this phone will say it's done because it's it's moved all the data over. And this side, uh, basically your new phone is gonna take a little bit longer because it's sorting through all the data and making sure that all the files are put in the right place. So keep that in mind, this phone might take a little bit longer to finish, but no worries there. So we're not gonna keep the video on the whole time just because uh, we don't want you to have to just sit and just watch it count down. But this is basically, um, this is it. At this point, they're linked up and they're transferring, so just let them be. So uh, a couple things for you guys before we leave. Uh, in the description as well, we also do have some of our uh, favorite tech products and uh, accessories. So check that out. We have, always have cool uh, accessories that we use and we like to share with you guys just in case you wanna know about cool stuff that you may wanna get. So check out that in the description as well. Make sure you like, favorite, and share the video if you found it helpful. Hit that subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching, take care, and have a good one.